This is a demonstration of VMware vCenter operations, which was used to collect data at the VMworld hands-on labs of 2011. All the information you see here is actually uh, real information collected from uh, eight different vCenter servers. So what we're looking at here is the, one of the main uh, dashboards that was created so that we could view vCenter help along with data source statistics for latency. What we're doing here is we're pulling over this synthetic utilization widget and uh, we're going to adjust the time that we're, we're looking at. So during the labs there was a, uh, a situation where we had some networking issues that vCenter operations uh, immediately identified and that we were able to uh, leverage as a tool to uh, rectify the problem. So what you're looking at here is a, a synthetic utilization for the first couple days of uh, the hands-on labs with the, the right side being when the issue was resolved uh, after we identified uh, the root cause of the problem. So what I'm really going to do after we, we can see that this issue was uh, raised, um, it was detected by VC, VC Ops, and then it was uh, resolved by uh, using VC Ops to do so. I'm going to really walk through some of the steps uh, that we used to resolve the issue and, uh, and really, you know, the proof points that we can show that the, uh, you know, where the pain was and, and what it looked like after the fix went into place. So this is really the first screen that we, we looked at and we, we fired on VC Ops for the first time on Monday when the hands-on labs were already online. Uh, on Monday, the, uh, all these numbers, all those metrics, they represent vCenters, they were all at 100%. Right? The, uh, the workload was at 100 and as we go, we, what we did here is we're drilling into NESX server. Um, what we saw when we first went in was that the network I.O. was uh, basically showing 100% for utilization. And that network I.O. for utilization isn't based on uh, maxing out a 10 gig pipe to the server. Uh, it's based on you know, a few different metrics that get combined, such as network storage and compute, and looking at the, uh, the ability for a host to do more processing, but being limited by some type of factor. So it's, uh, as I call it, synthetic utilization, because uh, it's really an analytic. So it's a combination of all three, three major uh, compute factors into one, really giving you kind of a health or an overall utilization. So when we first turned it on, everything was at about 100% for utilization. What I'm doing here is I'm really going to a host, and um, how we drilled into fixing the problem is that we identified it, VC Ops identified it as networking, and what we're seeing here is actually a couple of different hosts and the packets received on our ports during these times. So what you can see is that there's a, a massive amount of packets, about a million per host, um, and this is sustained throughout the day. Uh, so each host in the cluster was receiving an extra million packets. And this all had to do with a uh, underlying networking issue, uh, which was then uh, figured out and, and resolved uh, the next day. So the, the graphs where you look and you, you can see the, the spike of traffic and then the resolution, uh, which is actually visible right here, the left side's the spike and the right side's the day after, um, that caused a whole lot of things within the labs as far as uh, view session disconnects, which were recovered from very gracefully, um, and other things such as latency in the labs uh, when students were, were using sessions. So very, uh, very powerful tool that out of the out of the gate, as it turned on, told us there were some major challenges uh, in the right area. So it allowed us to take really a, a top-down approach for troubleshooting, where it said that the solution or the virtual infrastructure had uh, problems, and uh, it actually directed us in the uh, in the right. Right, right way to the right place so that we could immediately start drilling into the issue and identify it very quickly. This is uh, you know, completely different from a traditional troubleshooting sense where we would be very siloed and we'd be looking from the ground up or looking from the silos up um, towards the, the top solution at uh, you know, what that underlying issue is uh, that's causing a problem. So not only will VC Ops identify the problem to us and also allow us to dig into the details to try and resolve it, uh, but we can also start to look at some, uh, some metrics that allow us to, to quantify or to verify that that problem was causing an issue and that it's now resolved. Uh, so not only do we see the you know, traffic decreasing, but we can actually look at some other things directly on data stores as far as latency and, uh, and operations that are, say, attempted or, or successful. So when we look at the graphs that are here that we chose, 
um, on the left side what's important is on the bottom graph you can see some spikes of data and then you can see some uh, a little bit of fudging of the graphs uh, or maybe possibly network back offs or something similar to where that attempt to spike was then kind of saturated and took a little bit longer so you compare the left side to the right side uh, where we're now able to send through as much traffic as we want to um, and we get uh, the response times uh, and they're going to be a little bit higher because we're starting to send more traffic at that time. So spikes of about uh, 100,000 to 120,000 are then capable without any networking issues.